Hello, my. Hello, my friend. I don't really know how to use uh, Facebook Live, so I'm going to try this out by telling you a little Jewish folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a man who lived in a small apartment on the Upper West Side with his wife and two children. And they were happy, but they felt their apartment was too small. So one day the man went to the rabbi and said, Rabbi, I love my family, but my apartment is so small. I wish my children didn't have to share a bedroom. I wish we had an office that we could work from in the apartment. I really wish we had a second bathroom. It feels so crowded in our apartment. What can we do? The rabbi nodded and wisely said, why don't you put a child who needs to do all of their schooling into your apartment and have them do their schooling via Zoom in the living room of your apartment? Well, the Upper West Sider didn't really know what to think about this, but said, okay, and took the child into the apartment and set the child up to do Zoom. Well, the apartment did not feel any less crowded. And so the Upper West Sider went back to the rabbi and said, rabbi, the apartment still feels pretty crowded. What, what should we do? And the rabbi said, put a child who is on spring break from school in your apartment and don't let them have play dates outside of the apartment make sure they're only in the apartment and share your laptop with that child so that your child can continue to do something during the day in the apartment once you have used up all of your books well the man didn't really understand how this would make the apartment feel bigger but did exactly what the rabbi said. And now there was one child on the living room computer doing homework and one child on the man's laptop talking to friends and playing Duolingo and otherwise engaging in web quests and whatever kids do. But still the apartment felt small. The rabbi didn't want to meet with the Upper West Sider in person, so they set up a Zoom meeting. And on the Zoom meeting, the rabbi was asked once again, my apartment feels so small. It feels even smaller now. What can we do? And the rabbi said, well, my recommendation is that you don't go into your office, but work from home. Uh, spend your whole day together with both of your children who are doing their schooling and on spring break in your apartment. Well, the man wasn't sure how this was going to be helpful, but went home, tried to do a job from home, which involved learning a lot about how to use Zoom and other online programming with both of the children in the apartment. The apartment felt even smaller. So the Upper West Sider zoomed with the rabbi one more time and said, Rabbi, what, what can I do? The apartment still feels small. And the rabbi said, well, why don't you have your spouse work from home too? And then why don't you stay in your apartment together for somewhere between two and six weeks and, and see how it feels? Well, the man, the Upper West Sider and his family were all very crowded in the apartment. They were in every possible room, even the bathroom they were using as a workspace. But you know what? After some amount of time had passed, they were allowed to go back outside again and go back to work again. And they said, you know, here we are. We're healthy. We have each other. We spent a lot of time on Zoom with our grandparents and with our friends. We had real conversations were really pretty lucky. And they never really thought about their apartment being too small again. Only they did. Shabbat Shalom.